Hi, this is JNM again with a new Blender video about creating low poly terrain parts. So here are some finished parts and now we create a new one and I start with the plane. A simple plane, press Shift A to add it. And then I assign my low poly material to it with a texture that I use for all the models. But I will come back to this in a few minutes. Ok, we have the plane, now I go to edit mode and add some edge loops. A few in horizontal and a few in vertical direction. Just that we have some vertices that we can work with. Alright, now I go to sculpt mode, this might look a bit strange. I use the grab brush here. And I move the vertices around to find a nice looking shape for the top part. And don't worry, you don't add more vertices to the model by doing this, you just move the existing vertices around. Ok, looks good, but I add some more edge loops. One here in the middle and another one here and what you can also do to move the vertices is to enable proportional editing. I do this here and switch to vertex selection. Then I select one vertex, then I press G and when I move the mouse wheel I increase the range for that the vertices are affected by the move operation. It is like the first approach that I used with the sculpting mode but I have a bit more control over the resulting topology. Ok, I think we can go with that. I switch to face selection, press A to select all and then I press E to extrude this downwards. This will be the top of the terrain part that I create and I extrude one more time and this new edge I scale slightly down. Ok, and extrude again along the set axis and scale this and then the last extrusion and this edge I will scale up a bit. And now we have the basic shape, you see this can be created in a few minutes. Of course it's a bit too clean, we have to add some imperfections. Again I switch to sculpting mode and use the grab brush to sculpt in these random looking shapes. Now be creative, move these vertices around to find interesting looking shapes. Or again use proportional editing, this will also work very nicely. And once you found the shape that you like, Select the edge loop at the bottom, then disable proportional editing and after that press S, set and the zero key to bring all the vertices at the bottom to a value of zero for the set axis. Ok, this was the modeling part, I add a few more changes to the topology in sculpting mode with the grab brush. But then we can come to texturing. I switch to edit mode, press A to select all the vertices and then I open up a new window and choose the UV image editor. And here I open the texture for my low poly material. It is a texture that I painted with Photoshop, you can use any other painting application that you like and it contains some color squares. To use this for texturing I press U to unwrap, then I select reset and in the UV image editor I press the S key to scale these UV islands down so that they fit one of the color squares. Then I press G to move it to the green color square and in the 3D view you can see how the model is affected. Now the whole model is green but I want this lower part to be brown. So I change to face selection, press the C key to circle select and select the faces below the top part of the model. Alright, and once these faces are selected, you go to the UV image editor again, press the G key to move these islands to a brown color square. And that's it, you created a nice looking low poly terrain part that you can use in a game engine of your choice. And it took us 3 minutes. And like I did this in previous tutorials, you can export this model as FBX for example and import it into a game engine. I do this here for my Unity Low Poly Game Kit, I export it into the project folder and here you can see the imported low poly terrain parts in Unity that I drag now into the scene. Very simple, just drag it in, rotate it and build your level as you like. So guys, I guess this is creative freedom with free tools. I hope you like it and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, think about being my patron. This would really help this channel grow. Add your ideas or other feedback to the comments below and I really hope you come back soon to JNM.